I know it sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Because I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2012 Toyota Avalon. Now I'm excited about this review because the flagship of the Toyota brand has recently been redesigned. Now what am I just standing here for? Let's go take a look. If you're looking at the Toyota Avalon, you probably know what to expect. This is a full-size car with a Sunday morning road demeanor. The ride is smooth, it's much more nimble than it looks, and it's very controlled. Now it has more than enough power to make you a player out on the highway. It's 3.5 liter V6, generates 268 horsepower, and that's smooth horsepower at that. Now while the steering is sure, you won't find that athletic feeling here. But as my friend Trista likes to say, you can certainly get your gangsta lean going on in these plush leather seats. My kid thinks I'm a dope. Right, girl? Yeah. Right, girly girl? You're not a girly. You're not a girly? Now, one low point of the driving experience is a bit of a sightline issue in the back, and that's due to the vehicle's large C-pillar. But there's a backup cam embedded in the rear view mirror, which helps out. Overall, this is a comfortable, smooth ride that's perfect for cruising. Morning. Easy like Sunday morning. Oh, we got a little Sunday morning girl here. <laughs> for the last few years, it's my opinion that Toyota has fallen behind in terms of style. But I'll have to say, I just recently did a review of the new Camry and was very impressed, not only by the new updated styling, but by the tech bling. So when I got a chance to test drive the Avalon, you know I was excited. Now when I first got into this vehicle, my impression was Toyota is back. The interior is high touch, very stylish and comfortable. I like the overall design concept. I like the use of luxe materials like wood and shiny chrome accents. It's just an elegant design. I also like the layout. The ergonomics are great with large, easy to reach buttons and knobs. Now there are a couple of low spots to this interior for me. First off, I'm not wowed by the technology. There's no dynamic touchscreen display, standard. Now I'm testing the base model, but even in the base model, if you're spending $30,000 or more on a vehicle, I think touchscreen infotainment control is a must. And the front seats aren't heated or ventilated. Again, at this price point, you'd expect that. But overall, I find the interior to be comfortable, elegant, and refined. Now let's check out the back seat. The back seat is nice and roomy. It's very spacious for three passengers. Now your passengers are going to be very happy in the back seat of this vehicle. Not only is there supple, supportive leather back here, but the seats are split and they recline independently of each other. Makes for a really nice, comfortable ride for your passengers. I'm ready to go. Thumbs up but this convenience comes at the expense of the cargo hold since the seats won't fold flat. Now the trunk is a good size and it's comfortable too. That's just a big old trunk. So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a full size sedan that has a luxury feel and an easy smooth ride, you definitely need to put the Avalon on your test drive list and I'll see you next time. I know it sounds funny but I just can't feel the pain, can't stand the pain. Mm -mm -mm. I know so I'm, I'm leaving you tomorrow. The ride is smooth. It's much more nimble than it looks, and it's very... Come on! I know it sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain. I know it sounds funny, but I just can't stand the pain. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. You know I beg, stole, and I borrowed. Oh. Oh. Because I'm easy. Because I'm easy. Mm. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. No, I'm easy. I am easy. Easy like. Easy like Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning.